What is up, lads, and welcome back to another episode of, well, we're going to call it still the Pez Universe podcast. It is still Pez. It is still eFootball too, so, I mean, whatever you prefer to call it, we're going to call it Pez forever, forever more here as long-term fans. But tonight we've got a special episode of the podcast. Weza is actually out of action, so he won't be joining me in the, the co-host chair. But we do, we've scoured the Pez community to get three legends of the Pez community. Um, and we've got those three boys ready to talk all things Pez and all things eFootball here tonight. We've got Knight, MD, Spoonie and Cam. Evening, boys. Yeah, how's it going? And I hope I hope everyone will be able to hear and that we don't all talk over each other. But uh, we'll see how it goes. I mean, we'll see how it goes. I'm looking forward to a good chat with the lads. Um, so thanks for taking the time, lads. I know we had to reschedule due to me being a, a diva. But uh, yeah, hopefully, hopefully we can have a good chat here and have a good episode for everybody um, as we talk about, I mean, the disaster that is eFootball. But hopefully there's a better future there ahead and uh, we can get some opinions in tonight. So... We're going to go straight into it. I mean, this is what we do. We're going to go straight in. Uh, no chit chat. Just going to get in and uh, hard hitting e football chat. Um, so yeah, we are going to just go straight in and talk about the first topic, which will be the Windsor build or the playtest build or whatever you guys want to want to call it um, versus what actually released. So Spoonie and Cam, obviously, you guys uh, travel to Windsor uh, to play the game. Um, Knight, obviously, you didn't. You didn't. Uh, play the play test version of the game so i mean any questions or whatever i know we've all done videos we've all discussed things at length and given our thoughts on twitter and youtube videos and live streams um you know about you know what the play test was and then obviously what released a couple of weeks later so yeah i'm just going to let you have at it lads because last week's episode i kind of gave my opinions on on it in like a good way um but i think this will be the first time the three of us are talking about what yeah. we all played so um I mean, Spoonie, you obviously did a video, uh, you know, with your impressions and Cam, you did as well, man. So, like, is there anything, I'll ask by asking a, a controversial question straight off the bat. And this one is, this one, it goes out to Weza, uh, because Weza would like this question. Spoonie, I'll start with you. Is there anything you wish you talked more about in the first impressions from the Windsor build or maybe some stuff that you like went into too much like that you kind of regret not regret but that you do you think you should have focused on something else in the first impressions are you kind of happy with how your first impressions went for the windsor build i'm pretty happy with how how it went to be honest um you know i spoke to well the first thing i did was i called you mm -hmm. uh to see if um you know i said uh you know how, how was it on the monday and you're like oh you wait till you play it and then we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll talk we'll talk after I was like, yeah oh, okay um, and then obviously, uh, so I, you went on the Monday, I went on the Tuesday, Cam went on the Thursday, I think. Is that right? Yeah. That's um, right, yeah. yeah. So, and after I played the Windsor build after, you know, obviously the disappointment of the trailers and everything, probably all of our expectations were rock bottom. At Man, the, the trailers were amazing. Come on, come on. <laughs> so, yeah. So I called, yeah, I called you first, Barry. And, um, I said, you know, what's, uh. You know, what, what was it as good as we actually was it was it actually as good as we played was it because our expectations were rock bottom that we mm. thought this is better and you you were the same you're like yeah man definitely we both we were both really positive on the phone i was thinking yeah this is crazy like i was just expecting terribleness um <laughs> and then and then i thought ah oh, maybe, maybe it's just us maybe it's just me and <laughs> me and you just getting ahead of ourselves so then i called cam on the thursday or friday friday probably Friday or Saturday, um, after he played, and he was you were sort of giving off positive vibes as well. You sort of, you know, um, I think your your main criticism, Barry, was the collisions. That was mm. the first thing I took away. Mine was the player ID, and Cam sort of mentioned the crowd in the background, which <laughs> I see now. But um, I don't remember the graphics being as bad as uh, I, I'm probably digressing here, but the, I just don't remember the the, the graphics. Um, being anywhere near as bad as what was being released in mm. 1.90. That was the first thing. I just couldn't believe it. I was like, where's the lighting on the pitch gun and all the rest of it? So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Sorry. I, I didn't no, man, that's your good. You're good. Your question. But yeah. Um, so that, 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 was a, that was the first main thing for me to get across was that, you know, after I spoke to you guys on the phone, I was thinking, okay, it wasn't just me with being Mr. Positive as usual. It is actually, you know, 
um, across the board mm. the, from the guys I spoke to. Yeah, so, I mean, same like, question to you then, Cam. Things. Sorry, Spoonie, but same question to you there, right. Cam. Like, were you kind of, yeah, look, we all had different opinions on, you know, maybe what we would, like, graphics or some stuff that was kind of like, you know, like opinionated that you could say yeah well i thought this looked amazing or i thought this looked fine or whatever but uh, you know cam would you agree that the overall kind of like i suppose reaction to what we played at windsor was kind of like down the middle that it was actually good that it was enjoyable and because anyone i talked to was pretty much the same as what spoonie said there or what did, what did you think did your kind of feelings line up when you were talking to spoonie about it and stuff so I was definitely surprised with what I played because I expected completely nothing for this game. <laughs> how the two trailers were presented to us, it felt like there was nothing going for the game. Mm. At the same time, the game does have its positives and it does have its like overwhelming uh, negatives. Uh, as much as I've um, mentioned what I like and what I dislike, I didn't leave the playtest feeling that anything like was like wow like mm. this is mind-blowing mm. or that was anything that was like significant um i still feel that this game is for the future and not the immediate future mm -hmm. um i also feel that in my play test impressions video maybe i could have um tested more or dived into more of the gameplay side of things as my video was more general in terms of mm. like what the atmosphere is like what the crowd look like the new um stats in the menus on how form affects players yeah and and whatnot so maybe i could have dived into it in terms of gameplay a bit more um but yeah down the middle it was not that bad but again it's not something that we kind of expected when the news was so small about these games and mm. the only news that we got were from articles at the start of the year that the community had to search high and low for. Mm. And then when it started to come out with the trailers, it was like, this isn't looking great at all. But what I will say <laughs> is that the best thing for me coming out of the play test is as much as you could say they are arcade style features, but I do particularly myself enjoy the sharp kicks because the game is generally slow. And for those sharp kicks to help speed up the play, mm -hmm. that is what is currently missing in the current build, even though the public build is at the moment a, a disaster. Mm. Probably the, one of the worst uh, versions of PES I've seen released. Mm. Yeah, no, I don't think we can disagree with that. <laughs> I mean, it's <laughs> it's crazy what's, you know, what was released, the 0 0.9 or whatever it's called. Um, mm. But I mean, Knight, from you, obviously, then, as a guy... That, di that didn't play the playtest um, and didn't, you know, make it to, to play that early version of the game um, or whatever version of the game it was, because it did have more features than what was released in the, the public release um, on September 30th. But for, for somebody like you, you know, absorbing all this content and seeing all of our impressions and stuff, like, was there anything, you know, give me some, give me some critical... Um, analysis here of you know did we do a good job or do you think we didn't go into enough detail with something or like what was your kind of feeling towards the the impressions that came out right right so i mean obviously everybody else in this room played the game except me so uh but coming in so actually uh, listening to cam and spoonie obviously you guys had low expectations you went in with low expectations and kind of contributed to the kind of more positive uh, impressions mm -hmm. uh, on my end i actually was going in my lowest expectation, like the worst case scenario would be that this game would be a replica of PES 2021 only with Unreal Engine um, graphics. And that would be not the worst thing possible. I, that was my worst case scenario. Like mm. They would just spend the last two or three years porting the game exactly the way it was. And then, um, and then we'd uh, just get better graphics slowly down the line. And then when they announced the... Uh, Physical defending, I was like, wow. So they actually improved. They added the one single feature from FIFA that I was looking for, physical <laughs> defending. Mm. That's awesome. So we're getting PES 2021 plus physical defending. <laughs> then they added uh, the sharp kick. So like, awesome. That's incredible. So now if I want to pull off a dipping shot or a rising shot, it's a special thing. It's not like as random as it happened in the previous game. So that was, I was going in with sky high, like relatively sky high expectations. Uh, and then of course, you saw some pieces of the footage 
why is the net physics downgraded? You already have mm. good net physics. Why is it downgraded? So this, this is the first sign of that. They're not able to really port last year's game over two or three years, whatever time they were working on this, uh, whatever they put out. And then I saw the, um, what was the second one? Oh, the tactics. Oh, God. I was like horrified <laughs> when I saw the tactics. I was like, what the hell? This is six years in the making. Uh, amazing advanced instructions. I can have players moving down the wings. I can have uh, a false number nine. Amazing stuff. And it's all like gone away. I was like, what the hell? So that was like my first worrying sign. But I was still going in with like, at least we're getting the ball physics from PES 2021. At least we're getting some sort of automated off ball player movement. And then I played the first game. And I think the closest thing to Windsor's, to you guys playing the Windsor build mm. was my first game with the with uh, Portugal and Argentina, was it? Mm -hmm. Yep. And, um, and if you read my tweets, I was actually, I think the novelty makes you uh, have a better impression of what, whatever you're playing. So everything was new. Um, I ended up winning 3-2 scored three goals on this brand new game that I've been playing for the first time. So that was, for me, a good thing. Uh, one of them was a corner kick. I used my same way, like full power down the line, pressing up, and it worked. I was like, okay, that's that's good. And I actually tweeted, annual shooting feels good. That mm. was my first tweet. And looking back at it, of course, it feels like trash compared to when I went back to PES 2021. Uh, it's a huge difference. Uh, the way the ball explodes off your feet when you're playing with Ronaldo. I love playing with Ronaldo in PES 2020 because it feels different shooting with him than with somebody else who really has hor horrible shooting stats. Um, and I didn't get that in, in, in eFootball. Like, shooting was flat. The ball, the way it... Like, of course, that was after the first game when I sp spent like a whole weekend playing eFootball. Every, everything... Like the reality of the situation started sinking in, though. This actually sucks. This is a downgrade. Everything is a downgrade. The ball physics is a downgrade. The way the ball is passed around is a downgrade. And of course, the off ball player movement is completely on. Like you can yeah, see it in the, in the radar when, when the ball gets taken away, you can see your players running back to their formation. And when you see them on the pitch, they're like lined up next to each other. Way, um, the way, uh, uh, they're supposed to be when you don't have the ball, regardless of any advanced instructions or any other player positions. It's very automated. And when you steal the, ba the ball back, they start running forward in a very robotic way. Unlike when I, when, when I moved back to PES 2021, of course, I noticed that, oh, there's my advanced uh, instructions in play. I got Firmino dropping down. I got uh, Andy and uh, Trent moving forward. It looks more organic and... It's just completely different. And now I'm playing eFootball. I'm winning all my, my eFootball online games, by the way. I haven't lost a single game. Mm. I'm playing full manual controls against the PSG players with all the assists on. And I'm winning. And I'm winning it because they can't defend pretty much. Mm. And I'm winning it because defending is overpowered. I'm just holding down um, L2 and pass the whole time. Yeah. I steal the ball easily. Worst case scenario, I just get concede a foul. There's no really yellow cards at all if you double tap s and you pull a player in pest 2021 that's a, a a yellow card mm -hmm. or a red card depending on where it happens that's that kind of penalty doesn't happen in in eFootball so i'm winning because the game's a very simple game and there are very simple ways to to, to play this game it doesn't have the nuances the the small calculations that you use when passing when shooting uh, assessing play i don't do that in eFootball i'm just moving forward that's pretty much what i'm mm. doing when i'm playing pest I find myself moving back and seeing who's empty, who's free, who's moving forward. Because you know that in in in, e in PES 2021, you can set short pass. So even if you're on counter attacking, your team as a whole is moving forward, but the players next to you are moving closer to you to get a short pass. You don't do that in eFootball. In eFootball, it's either quick counter, so everybody's moving forward, or it's possession, so everybody's moving closer. You can't really set the in-betweens or the... You know, it's 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 really robotic and automated, and everything I loved about about uh, PES is is not there. Now, whether or not they're gonna introduce that mm. next month in November, I seriously <laughs> doubt it. I seriously <laughs> doubt it. It's, it's it's this needs another year. Like think of it as 2014 again. They're it's a new engine. They're working everything from scratch because 2014 is very different than 2012 or 2013 um so i think they like 
when, when I saw this unconfirmed report of a pest developer, of an eFootball developer talking on this Japanese Reddit saying that we were not able to work with Fox Engine the way we used to because we didn't have the Kojima Productions uh, team on us, so we had to write a lot of things from scratch. Uh, now, this is, of course, unconfirmed. Mm, it's, it's this yeah. random guy talking in Japan. We don't know who he is, if is it real or not. But it, it, it makes the most sense to me because feels like they did spend two years making a new game from scratch and as i said before the podcast officially started if they told me that this was ufl i would have actually it would have made sense this is a new game they're starting up they're uh, testing things they're they're not used to how things are supposed to be that would make sense but the thing is we're comparing it to pest 2021 which is mm. a very mature game with very small intricacies which is what we love about it it's not fifa it's it's pests yeah and eFootball, it's it's just this game written from scratch so that's 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 my impression, and it makes sense when I when I when I read about this kind of leak, unconfirmed leak. Is there are some things like the animations, of course, the the celebrations. They're all almost the same, copy pasted from from PES twenty twenty one. But the ball physics seem to be written from scratch. The uh, net physics are like they're just starting up. It's the whole net doesn't move the way. And of course, net physics. They, they, it's not important. It's just net physics. But it's just an example of them yeah. writing something from scratch that they didn't need to. Mm. And, uh, and that's that's the impression that I got. This game needs at least another year of yeah. uh, of hard work, not by somebody. And, and PES 2014 wasn't held back by mobile. Now they have to make sure that this game runs smoothly on a Nokia, or not on a Nokia, on a Samsung <laughs> or a Note, which are quite powerful. They're quite powerful, but it's a huge hindrance compared to developing a game for the PS3 back then. Mm. Um, yeah, I mean, it is, it is, it's it, like... Yeah, I mean, definitely, and I don't know, and Cam and Spoon, you can weigh in whenever you want here, because, like, I feel like having read, kind of, when I went to Windsor and I played the build, and from talking to you guys and talking to a lot of other people that played the Windsor build as well, you know, different guys that, that had played it and pretty much felt the same as we did, but had different opinions on different parts of the game, which is always always the, the way when uh, you played a, a game, a new game with new mechanics and stuff. Like, I feel that we were kind of put in a very hard position because, like, I felt when I was at Windsor, and, you know, I'm going to stand over this, like, I didn't feel like it was, like, see, it's it's hard to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to make sure that, like, I get my point across because it's hard to say it without, you know, taking it out of context. Like, when I say something like, I didn't feel the game was that far away, doesn't mean that, like, the game was ready for launch for what we played in Windsor. Like I thought that there was still a couple of months of, um, you know, hard work to be done to the, mm. some of the issues that I had seen in Windsor. So it wasn't like what we played in Windsor was like, you know, I, I said this last week on the podcast and I was explaining it to Wes. I, I, like it wasn't like what I played at Windsor was like, you know, oh my God, this is like, oh, if they had released this instead of what they released on September 30th, people would have absolutely fell in love with it, like, because they wouldn't have, you know what I mean? Because there was enough there. Yeah, there wasn't disappearing players, there wasn't, you know, players entering the pitch before the game with no heads and all the funny bugs we've seen. Like, I didn't see any of that stuff in the Windsor no. build, right? But then at the same time, people will say that we just didn't play it long enough. And that's a that's a fair criticism, you know what I mean? Compared to some people have played 100 games in eFootball. We only played what? I mean, you know, maybe 15 to 20 or whatever it was in that space of time that we had to play it. So I do think it was very hard with what ended up releasing because I don't think... Well, for me personally, right, I when I was talking about my impressions for the Windsor playtest, it was more about the kind of, like, the future, as you said, Spoonie there, and as, as Cam, you said as well, like... I thought the sharp kick and being able to power up your passes and stuff like completely changed the pace compared to what we're playing at the moment that's released. And something as small as that, it was more what I was seeing was kind of the the potential. Like I was talking about the potential of like where this game would be at at Christmas time. And I think that what released on September 30th was so bad and so bug ridden and almost unplayable for some people that people can't see that promise now. They just see the bugs and they've seen all the funny memes and you know the huge websites tweeting out about it and you know i've been ranked as a psychological horror on steam and like you know it's just a meme at this stage and i think people yeah. can't see no i'm not saying that people like should like be glass half full i'm just saying that i think that it's very 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 difficult for people that haven't played a better version of what's there to see 
any light at the end of the tunnel. Whereas I think mm-hmm. us having played it are like, yeah, look, it wasn't finished at Windsor. It wasn't good enough. Some things were really good. Some things still need a lot of work. Some things were terrible. There was good, bad and ugly there. But the promise was there. Um, but that's how that's how I felt. I don't know. I mean, Cam, if you want to come in there, I mean, that's how I felt about it. I'm not like, what, what do you think? Yeah, I mean, the build that we played, a lot of us obviously spoke about features, but at the same time, we didn't speak about the bugs that we've got in the current build because mm. I didn't I didn't see a lot of them. Exactly. The, yeah. what, I, what I did see in the build that we played is the a couple of things that we saw in the trailer, like clipping issues. Yeah. And, uh, and the collision was, system, like, was yeah, the, very the, poor. The collisions were, were poor as well. So Sliding, of um, course. Yeah. yeah, and the sliders, yeah, the skid. The sliding. Yeah as well um i i even feel that the beta that we tried a few months ago was more stable than we've got now mm. um, yeah. i don't i don't recall seeing any kind of physical button bugs from the beta and um in the windsor build i still did find it hard to defend i still did find it more manual mm. but with the l2 physical button being completely broken in the public build that's something I wouldn't have known if it wasn't for the community finding out about it. So mm-hmm. there could be a possibility that this um, L2 physical button bug existed in the build that we tried, but also at the same time, like, again, we all um, reviewed our early build of the game in different ways. Like I said, um, mine was very general. I talked about as much as I could in like the whole aspect of it. Other people went into gameplay a bit more, and um, but yeah, the the Windsor build is it wasn't that bad, but you could obviously see that it still needed work. Um, the tactics I still feel from the Windsor build and the current build, I still feel that it is completely bare bones. Mm. As an offline player, I do like setting up my own philosophy to my team with my master leagues, and for that <laughs> to be taken away, like I can't have like a unique direction to take with the team. It's the same with the penalties as well. They are completely the same. Yeah. I don't like the penalties in eFootball, nor in PES, because there's no risk versus reward if mm. you put extra power in. Goalkeepers still do the incredible like trampoline dives in the air. <laughs> um, yep. So there's just there's things that are still in eFootball from PES, but at the same time, it also feels like a different entity, despite majority of the... Um, the Pez feels being ported over, like Night Touched On celebrations mm. are completely the same, <laughs> while the crowd are completely downgraded with poor net physics. It's like I said, it feels like Pez, but at the same time, it's a completely different entity mm. in terms of um, going from Pez Twenty One to eFootball. Yeah, well, it's definitely it is definitely. I think that they've committed to just you know seeing this as a games as a service where they're like this game will be pretty much unrecognizable this time next year you know as in they've committed to that now fully and i think that because they haven't had those i don't know deadlines or whatever uh, to Mm -hmm. to tie them and say like we have to have a solid build out by such a date like i think the fact that my club hasn't come out or creative teams hasn't come out this year already i don't think that that pressure was on from a gameplay point of view to get it to where it needed to be because you know, anyone that has tried the game now at the moment, you know, I personally feel that no matter what they've said and no matter what they've they've gone on and played, maybe they've started to play FIFA or more of, you know, a different game. I still think when my club drops that you will probably check it out. You know, I think people will check it out and see, OK, what's it like? There was a big patch, you know. OK, what's it like at Christmas? There's a big patch. It's free to download. I'll try it. If it's if it's terrible, I can just delete it. And there's no investment there. So I do think that that free to play model is going to be leaned on very heavily uh to get people to come and back and play the game from konami's point of view but agree, you know that's that's that, that's that's what i think that they've really you know not i don't agree with that i mean you know the game at the end of the day like the way i have been over the last couple of years since i started playing early bills is like i judge you know i judge what i played in windsor and then i judge what i played on september 30th like one of them had issues but had promise and the other was a disaster. Like, and that's just the way it is. I mean, there's no dressing it up. So, mm-hmm. 
you know, like you can only judge what's out there. It's all well and good saying, oh, you know, please IGN, write a review of what this game could be. Like, that's <laughs> not what, that's not the way the real world works. Like, you have to judge what's out there. Yep. You know what I mean? So, like, I mean, Spoonie, like, just to bring you back in there for what me and Cam were saying, like, do you feel that there was like, do you feel it was like very difficult to kind of get a feel for the demo? Like, obviously we've played the Windsor build that we're talking about now, but like, for those that haven't played the Windsor build, and this was their first impression, obviously the beta and stuff came out, but that was, you know, really bare bones um, just for the online test. But, like, for those that hadn't played the Windsor build, like, do you see where the frustration is that, like, people are, like, two years for this? Like, what is going on? You know, RIP mm -hmm. pays. Like, all you guys are, you know, like, full of shit. Like, you know, because I just feel that if you hadn't played the Windsor build, people are going to you're just not going to be able to see like the potential of what this game could become you know yeah yeah i mean i play i played uh the eFootball 2022 i did a seven hour stream mm. and i wanted to get off after about 20 minutes to be honest <laughs> it was it was dreadful uh, there was so many bugs i found so many bugs in that in that seven hour stream it was mm. just hilarious yeah, I, was watching, it, I was watching a bit of it actually it was, it was a, yeah it was it was it 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 was so sad that it was, it was funny. Mm. It, was, it was just that bad. Well, um, if you don't laugh, you cry. You know, simple as that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but what, I've got I've got actually got a question for you and Cam, who also played. I don't know if it's my TV or, but the graphics were way better on the Windsor build than what we've experienced so far, right? Or or am I just imagining? No, I thought the graphic. I thought there was definitely a decrease in the graphical fidelity. Pitch. Um, yeah, like the pitch, the like yeah, the lighting, the nighttime lighting was probably the biggest one because that was one of the first things I said. Mm. I was like, oh, you know, the new camp in the night was amazing, and then yeah. some people were saying that the actual daytime uh, stadiums are are better in this like build on September thirtieth. So yeah, I do, I do think it was a it was a mix of playing on you know obviously like a dev kit on a top of the range like mm -hmm. OLED TV. Um, and I think that the lighting in our yeah I do no I I do I do I do think that the the graphics were better in what we played um, in Windsor, um, um, you know I I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I think what I summed them up with was like some of it looked better like I thought some of the faces looked like really like really good um, you know but some of the stuff like the net physics and the grass and stuff I even still thought at Windsor that they didn't look what I was expecting them to look like I was expecting like you know proper like next gen and i probably shouldn't have but i was blown away at certain things i saw but i wasn't blown away but yeah i do definitely think it was better it was a better looking game than what we played compared to the september 30th release yeah definitely yeah what about, what about you cam uh, so sorry to me graphically it did look much better in person in comparison to like the leaked footage that was on phones from like the hong mm -hmm. kong stream but at the same time, again, I didn't feel that anything was significant. I didn't feel mm -hmm. that anything was like, wow, this is, you know, amazing. Because, again, majority of the information that I took in was from articles months previous to do with, like, photorealism yeah. and whatnot. <laughs> yeah, it wasn't at that level. Definitely not. No. <laughs> no. So what I will say is that I still do feel that the player models in the current build are not that bad but only if the players are standing still as <laughs> soon as they move and as soon as they react to the ball that's when they start doing that weird mouth motion oh yeah the mouths are weird yeah and i think that's <laughs> where you can probably see the potential in the graphical side of things is when everything is just still as soon as the game starts to move and the turf doesn't look great and whatnot it, it just doesn't look or feel like a next gen game but like i said when i um, had my play test as much as there was positives and negatives um i didn't feel that anything in particular like was mind-blowing for myself mm. to be honest like i've been negative about the game but, but from a graphical standpoint i feel like, like eFootball is easy step up from from pest 2021 when it comes to player models faces even the general uh, textures the softness of everything looks mm. a lot better Light lighting, night light, of course, is a huge upgrade compared to the default uh, night lighting in PES 2021. I, I'm I'm actually 
not too upset about the graphics and and like of course the grass sucks but we already knew that from from the from the trailers so i wasn't expecting a miracle to happen between it's very weird to be honest it's a football game it's like one single graphic that you need to get right and that's it like it's not like metal of honor or call of duty like this is you only need to get grass right that's all we're seeing 99 percent of the time mm. and they still can't do it but again not expecting a miracle there but generally speaking yeah the graphics look better up close um specifically yeah, animations is like they look like there haven't hasn't been much improvement in animations in general so i'm not expecting a miracle there but yeah graphically it's better uh, cam you were saying something about the l2 might have been broken in the windsor build but you but you uh probably didn't notice it and i'm telling you when i was playing the first game i was playing it the way i was supposed to which is mm -hmm. uh hold down the pass button and then when I'm uh, close to the player and I want to lunge, I'll just press the L2 and I'll do that. And it wasn't working. And yeah, then by the second... Exactly. And that's what most people and the Windsor build. If you have just an hour or 90 minutes to play the game, that's what you'll do. You'll, you know, that's what you're supposed to do. You'll do that. And then if you were given two extra days or an extra day, you would have found out that, yeah, the gameplay probably isn't as unbroken as you probably thought the first time. Because... On my second day of EFO ball, I was like, what happens if I hold down L2 and this, the player is just gravitating to the ball and then eventually stole it the way it happened in the previous games, only without the fouls? So I'm just saying. Yeah, but the defending was hour... a small bit different. Sorry to cut in, but the defending, I felt right, and the lads can, you know, because this, this is something that I really focused on when I was there, because the defending to me, from, you know, from having played the game before, that's where I usually can tell how fast the game is going to be, as in like how fast you can press. Or press, uh, pressure a, a player, you know? So, like, what I was doing was... I felt in the Windsor build when we were playing it... When I was holding L2... At the moment in the current build... Like, it's kind of like holding X in PES 2021. As in, like, it's kind of like a home and missile... That it goes in, takes man, ball and all. And I felt in the Windsor build... That there was, like, a separation... Of, like... You were kind of jockeying, like... That you were standing up the, the yeah. defender. Now, again, like, Knight, you're... Your 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 concerns there are definitely like they're the same things I'd be saying if I hadn't played the game. You know what I mean? I'd be saying, well, like, look, how can you you know really test in ninety minutes compared to being at home playing for five or six hours with your own PS4 pad or PS5 pad, your own TV? You, you know, you're able to do whatever you want to do at any given time, um, con compared to a, tr a control situation. But I genuinely did feel, and I could be wrong. You know what I mean? I could be wrong, but I genuinely felt that the defending was very manual in the Windsor build. That it was like, you know, there was no like go in and take the man and the ball. Like it was more kind of like stand up. That's how I felt. I could, I mean, I could be totally, totally remembering it wrong, or I could have been doing think, it wrong. But that's how I, I felt. I, I think the Windsor build was slower, slower pace. Game. Yeah, and not, and not for the worst. Not for the worst. I hope so. I hope so. It, it needs to become slower. Mm. Mm, it was, it was slower. But I, there wasn't any of that, like, like bum rush the. The, the attacker like you can do in PES 21 by holding X you know because I'm if you hold L2 and X now in the current build at the moment like you just win the ball and you can you were saying there night that you're you know smacking people and winning every game on manual like the majority of people playing the game at the moment like don't know how don't know how to play the game you know, I'm, not, I'm not slagging people exactly. but it's very no, no, simple to learn the mechanics of the game because it's such a not simplified version not having fun winning. Just make let me make this clear. Like I feel guilty <laughs> winning because it's 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 not out of a skill on my behalf. I just broke the game's broken and I'm abusing the broken mechanics. Yeah. That's all I'm doing. And that's why you've got some of the pro guys like that are on like you know eighty win streaks and they just can't lose games. You know because they're they're just able to spot the mechanics straight away and be able to you know be better at them than other people. You know the guys that are really good at the game. But that's how I felt. I mean, I, I mean, Cameron Spoonie, you can correct me there if I'm wrong. I might be totally talking up my arse as I'm as I'm known to do sometimes. But I genuinely did think that whether it was a combination of you know everything, you know, the game being slower, which we can all agree it definitely was slower in Windsor, and you know the actual playing it, you know, ninety minutes to two hours playing it in the playtest. And then on top of that, you know, trying to keep an eye on everything else. Like, what does the, you know, what do the graphics look like? So when I'm giving my impressions, I know, you know, what to do. But I genuinely did feel that the defending was a lot more manual in the Windsor build. That's just how I... Definitely. Definitely. Yeah, yeah I, I, I did as well. I, I struggled with it to a point where, like, the people that I was playing against at Konami, they were also saying that despite them playing the game a few times, uh, a lot more sooner than us, 
because they were trying out the builds. Um, they were also still struggling with defending. And again, I think we, because of how the game is now in terms of how the physical button is currently broken in this build, there's that unknown factor of like, did this feel as it did in Windsor? But yeah. again, like that's just like hypothetical stuff. Mm. Um, oh, oh, something that, like, sorry, sorry, Cam, because you guys are saying it's slower. Now, I just want to remind you something. In PES 2021, if you move on to Legend, the game is a lot faster because they're pressing you back better. You need to make very fast decisions. So you're moving a lot faster. Everything's a lot faster. When you switch to Amateur, have a lot more time on the ball and you get the impression that it's slower now when you were playing in winter did you up a grade the difficulty to superstar or was it on the superstar. default uh... superstar yeah, yeah but we were playing against other guys as well like you know so yeah. it was 1v1 which is more like online than you'd ever you know compared to leaving the computer you know right. so that was the thing i like i like genuinely like i've had th i've had this with people where i played like i played before i think it was pez it was the first e3 i played or it was one of them anyway that I played the game early and I was like, oh, it was so amazing. It was so slow. And I remember somebody That's over amazing. there, yeah, somebody over there was telling me, like, I'm not going to name names, but they were like, you know, don't go on too much about the pace of what you played here because it will increase by at least 10%. And when the game actually came out, I'd say it was gone up about 25% from what I played <laughs> at E3. And I remember I came out and I never put any context in what I said and my impressions were like, oh, it's so slow. It's the slowest Pez game I've ever played. And then the game actually came out and everyone was like, and I never said based on my impressions of what I played or based on this or based on what I, you know, what I actually played. It was like, no, no, the game is slow. Just believe me. The game is super slow. So like, yeah, Knight, you're right to, to question that because it is, if you are playing on the, the AI, but I'd say I played most of my games 1v1 against different guys there and like, you know, against Konami guys, like where... We both were pressing. We both were leaving holes in the back. Like we had some good games. Um, I think that's been my biggest kind of frustration. Like I don't mind people questioning me. I don't mind people question. They should. You know, I said this in last week's podcast. Like any of us giving impressions, you know, you don't want an audience of people just saying like, "Oh, you know, you're brilliant. Your impressions are the best." You want guys that are like, you know, well maybe you didn't see this, or maybe you come from this angle, you know, to to kind of question you and question your. Mm -hmm your 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 thought process of like i might look for something you have to remember as well that some people like play the game for 40 hours a week while other people play it for maybe two or three hours a week after they get home from work and put away their kids to bed and all that like it's a completely different experience for everyone but yeah i do think that's that's one thing i'm going to stand up uh, stand up for myself about with the defending um the manual defending i just think yeah I mean, I just think it was it was way different in the Windsor build. That was my biggest frustration when the game came out, where I was like, yep. what the fuck did you put us playing that for? <laughs> when the game was so manual and like, you know, there was hardly any goal, like any goals in some of the games I played. Like, I think I scored three goals. That was the max I scored against somebody. It was like 3-1 or something. Um, and one of them was like a goal at the end of like 90 minutes or whatever. Um but yeah, I just felt under the circumstances, like, you know, the matches were only short matches, like we only had a couple of teams and we were playing 1v1 and stuff. And I still just felt that it was like, this is nice, like I can actually stand up the players here. And if I make a make a tackle, um, you know, like it actually feels like there's a risk or reward here. Do I actually go in and yeah. try and make the tackle or do I not and stand back? Mm -hmm. And that's how I personally felt. Again, you know, did I... Did I get a bit over over exuberant with that? Seeing that maybe, but I I don't think I did. <laughs> I don't think I did. I thought that's what I saw when I played it. And um, the, hap the haptic feedback on the dash as well was mm. a big, bigger influence on the Windsor build compared to the build player now. But then again, it's because of the. I think it's because of the pace of the game. It's because it's increased. Play your players stop much quicker than the Windsor build. Mm. So there's no sort of. Before on the Windsor build, you could literally go flying, couldn't you? You could just like your player would do that sort of skidding animation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The trailer. Yeah. So um, one of one of the things I, you know, I said in my hands-on impression was, do not complain about the manual defending when th when this gets released. Mm. But that that was all gone. 
that was yeah. you gone on the release because that was like, what like I talked said, about most really with you added. when we spoke Spoonie was like I was yeah. I was blown away by the manual fin I was like I can actually see a massive skill gap here and mm-hmm. like I we, spoke to the Konami lads I spoke to them and I said like please don't do this to me don't change the defending like you know I'm not I, I follow Ireland right like I'm Irish so I follow the Irish national team obviously I'm not used to seeing goals you know be scored so I have to I have to kind of you know I have to defend and take solace in the fact that you know we're tight at the back so like I like being able to defend and I like making a mistake and knowing yeah I fucked up there rather than you know the ball ricochets off somebody and then you know I can't do anything about it like like and that's what I felt that at Windsor where I was like right if I go into this tackle here I need to win it or else I'm open at the back and even in the limited time that we played it I did come away with that feeling you know, so as I said, maybe I got caught up in the in the um, l- like looking into that too deeply that we weren't playing online, obviously, um, and that the game was a lot slower than, you know, what actually released. Um, hmm. But yeah, I do think, as Cam said, the L2, the L2 button is a is a major is a major like thing that people are judging at the moment. Um, yeah. You know, yeah, I think so. I think we can all say that, like, if we all tested it, I know um, when we had the sheet in front of us with all like the commands on, I wasn't just using L two; I was holding X to contain. Mm. I was using L two to attempt to take the ball off my opponent, and then all that just goes out of the window because <laughs> the exploit is completely yeah. like it's completely broken. So then it's like, oh, everyone who's played this, were they lying about the defending X, Y, and Z? But like I said. It was something that I didn't come across in the build that we played. But again, there could be that possibility that it could have been in the play test. Mm. But again, we had two hours to um, try the game. And also, we also had the, you know, the presentation, which also um, lacked, uh, what should I say, chop down time of us playing the game. Mm. Um, but all games, every game in the world, they all have their exploits. and. Some games are ma- meant to be broken. And unfortunately, the L2 physical button is what breaks eFootball. Mm. Yeah, agreed. So, I mean, I think it's it's a lot bigger than just the L2 because the L2 is just defending. The issue here is the foundation of shooting and the physics of the game is just completely been reset. So, for instance, if I'm receiving the ball with my back to the goal and my player is stationary... Mm-hmm. And I att- I would never attempt to take the shot in PES 2021. It would, it would suck. It's, it doesn't look right. I did that like yesterday in eFootball, and I just what would happen? And just uh, Diego Jota, he received the ball. He turned turned around, made this amazing shot to the to the corner of the goal. It didn't it, it? It hit the crossbar, but it was almost a goal. And this it's just that the, the nuances of shooting and. Uh, making decisions with the ball they're just a lot simpler in eFootball that's that's my big issue because like let's say in November they release a game that has uh it's a, a, a little bit slower the L2 is not exploited as much and um we have a sharp shooting of course and the ball trapping thing which I was very excited about it's still the the, the basics of the shooting of the shooting and the off ball movement they won't be fixed because they've been reset it's like I'm not sure they're going to add uh, short pass and long pass and uh, advanced instructions and all these nuanced movements back in two months. It's just not going to happen over the next year. Mm-hmm. And that's mm. that's my big issue with eFootball at the moment. The bugs, I actually do have zero complaints about the bugs. The bugs, the funny things, the, the clipping, the skates, uh, these are all signs of a game that was rushed. It was mm. not tested long enough. Which brings us to the theory, how long exactly did they work on this game? If <laughs> By release, they have these funny bugs that would have been ironed out without having uh, the whole community t- t- test it for a whole month or two. Uh, so that's that's another issue. But I'm not bothered by the bugs. It's just a sign of a game that's been rushed, not one that's been developed over two to three years. Mm. But Knight, like think... saying that, do you do you think? Sorry, Spoonie, I think. That's um, yes, right. Like, can I just ask you, Knight? Like, because it's it's something I see on on Twitter, right? Like, do you just do you just feel then that? you know, that, that, that this new direction and eFootball, like, is, is kind of never going to be for you then? Like, is it, do you think that this new, 
simplified kind of way of playing. And and look, they've made no qualms about it. Like, I mean, Pez to them is dead now. You know, it's retired. Like, this is a brand new... I don't think that they could have done anything more to, to drive the nail home that this is not, you know, Pez. I mean, there's no Master League. There's no edit mode at launch. We're waiting two months for a game mode to come out. Um, You know, they've changed the name. They've changed the logo. They've changed the color scheme. Like, they've pretty much done everything that they could do to say look this isn't pez this is eFootball. like do you feel that this is just like never going to be for you like this actual direction i don't think it's it's a direction that they chose uh and here's the thing uh pro evolution soccer was one of konami's biggest uh grossing uh um titles uh, it's not most successful compared to FIFA, but for them, it was a big money maker. Mm -hmm. And the reason wasn't the licenses, it was the gameplay. So they know that they had a winning formula in the terms of gameplay. Um, the, the reason we're seeing the simplified version, I think it's just because of the new engine and that they wanted to push out the bare minimum to have a working game by this time of the year. And that's all. That's why we have these very simplified tactics. And I know that I feel that they want to go back to the nuanced uh, movement, the a sophisticated uh, off-ball player movement, the, the real-life tactics, the winning formula is gameplay. They know that. Right? And mm. That's why I know that maybe in a year or two, when they've rebuilt the game, when they've had as, as much time as they've had with Fox Engine, with Unreal Engine, we will have, hopefully, a superior game. So I'm not worried about the direction. I mean, uh, for me, it would be very concerning if this was the direction because... We're heading towards a mobile game forever, and I don't mm, think they're mm. gonna do that. Yeah, I think they they want to go back to the uh, to their winning formula, their money making formula, but just to have it playable on mobile phones, and which is something that's doable. It's not entirely undoable because the most p difficult part of of, of uh, having the game work on mobiles is the graphics, and the Unreal Engine can uh, scale down pretty remarkably uh, for for smartphones. I'm not worried mm -hmm. about that. It's just that I don't. I honestly think they didn't have enough time or expertise to port their gameplay, their very sophisticated gameplay, to Unreal Engine. And I think they need a whole lot more time because they wouldn't dump their money making formula down the drain and uh, expect the same success that they had with uh, with the previous titles. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then like when you're so when you're talking about like you know the the gameplay and the winning formula of like having the best gameplay like to me that's all like dependent on like how you play pez you know and i think that over the last couple of years like people would say that that skill gap especially online has reduced you know um and i'm not too sure like how you feel about that cam and spoonie but like you know we we probably play master league and you guys do a lot of mods and you do you know you make the game look unbelievable and you play offline and like for somebody playing offline on superstar difficulty with like you know custom formations and tweaking everything and having everything look brilliant that's a completely different experience than somebody that plays five star my club with you know 101 mbappe and rashford up front like you know what i'm saying so like people yep. depending on who you would talk to you know we could get somebody in here that's like the top player on my club or you know sep or someone that just you know plays my club all the time and they would tell you that PES 2021 is the most simplified version of PES in the last five or six years. You know what I mean? Because it's it's literally just, you know, gig and press pressure, like with three players, and then, you know, ping pong one passing and one two triangles. Yep. That like that's it. That's the meta the whole time. Yep. You know what I mean? So like I, I just think I just think that's why I was asking you tonight about the kind of direction, because it is, I think, dependent on people um and how they play and Sorry, Spoonie, I cut you off, I think, there about yeah, 10 minutes no, ago I was, as well. I was, that's right. I was, Trying to get a word in with me, you know. I'm a, 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 a fast-talking Irishman. <laughs> no, I was just going to say about the um, tactics. I believe that these uh, the this is, is going to be the sort of way forward for them. I think that you want them simplified. Yeah. Basically, to make it less cheesy, less exploits, get rid of the ping-pong passing mm -hmm. through the middle, because... You know, that Windsor build, trying to pass through the middle was, was next to impossible. You yeah. had to use the sharp kicks, get the ball out wide, and play it more like a real game of football. I don't know what's happened with this 0.90, but <laughs> the, uh, the Windsor build was, like, when I was playing another player, it felt like we were playing a proper football match. Mm. Like, it was very, very tactical. Um, he was going down the wing. I was like, right, okay, I'm going to trap you off. And then he was, like, cutting inside. So it was all, it was all cat and mouse, especially when you had that sort of one-on-one -on -one defending. Yeah. Um, 
But I, I, I generally think the tactics are going to be simplified for the online portion. Maybe when Master League comes out, they'll elaborate on those tactics. Mm. I hope they do. Yeah, um, that makes that makes complete sense. What what you guys are saying is yes, yes. And when if if we're I, talking about an online game that doesn't want to be exploited, then absolutely it's going to be simplified mm. so we don't exploit tactics, and that all makes sense. Mm-hmm. And in an ideal world, you'd have full manual control, so they wouldn't be able to ping pong the ball as easily. Mm-hmm. But I mean, that's not marketable. That's not marketable. Yeah. So yeah, you go ahead. Sorry. No, and that's that's another thing I was going to say about the defending. You know, <clears throat> whilst it'd be great to have that manual defending that we speak, you know, we speak about, you th- you've got to take into account like their audience as well, like the casuals. Yeah, people, of course like, you people do. Can play it like four hours a day or whatever. You know, pe- pick it up for like 10, 15 minutes. They don't want to have to bloody you know, do some yoga handstands before they bloody start picking up the controller to you know to to understand how you got to uh, how how to defend you, you know or or read a freaking a bible of, of <laughs> how to defend. Uh, yeah, it's just you just nice. want to be able to just pick up and play, yep. and and they want to sell copies. So it'd be like, well, this is you know, casuals are gonna moan moan like hell about this defending. Therefore, let's just make it basic. And and another thing is like. I was thinking about this, you know, obviously with the haptic feedback of the dash, which was very, very prominent in the Windsor build. I was thinking, how the hell are they going to implement that with the mobile gamers? Because they haven't got the haptic yeah. feedback. Well, that's, an, that's just a PS5 exclusive, or exclusive yeah, feature, isn't it? Yeah, the P- PS4 PS5. hasn't got the haptic feedback. So how's that going to work? Because there's no way you'd be able to defend if you're just holding the button down, yeah. the sprint button down. So they had to change it. Yeah. And another thing I don't get is that obviously Point. we had the Windsor build. We then have the 0.9.0 build, but now we've got some bug fixes coming up in October. Mm-hmm. Um, I forget the date now, but we've got that coming up. But why are they bug fixing this this version? Yeah, when yeah, that's we have played that's we played a, a much more advanced build. Mm. Yeah, I, so don't I, know. I don't know where where the direction is, and I I thought you know I thought the graphics were were much better. Um, the night games, the the day games had soft shadows, going from light to dark. There's literally no shadows on the pitch, mm. um, certainly on my TV. Mm. <laughs> it, it, during the day games, I I tried the different weather conditions and everything to try and replicate what I saw at, in the Windsor build, mm. and I was just like, oh my god! I literally I was jumping stadiums uh, on the seven hour stream trying to find what setting or, or you know you know I knew it was in the camp new. But was it was it nighttime summer? Was it nighttime winter? I tried all the variations and combinations, and I just couldn't get it to look like the Windsor build. And mm. I was thinking, oh, is it, is it my TV? You know, because we were on OLEDs. Yeah, I mean, I got an OLED TV downstairs. So I have to try on that. But yeah, I just, I just think the graphics are a massive step back. Mm. And I, I'm like, where's the, where's the graphics gone? Is it is or is it because we we're playing on those developer builds? Yeah, well, that that because is another I'm, thing as well. It could be in the dev kits. You know, we're we're literally pumped yeah. up to the max. Like I don't because know because I went. I went to walk towards the PS5. They're like, oh, no, no, no. Uh, don't go over there. They, that, that TV is not very good. Do you want to play on this TV? I was like, oh, okay. And so when... <laughs> Shepherding you TV, over to the dev kit. Yeah, yeah. Which went, yeah, exactly. Shepherding me over to the dev kit. Mm. Um, and then it was just like, it was, it was really good. I was like, well, you know, <laughs> you're going to have a positive experience if, if this kit is more powerful than the, mm. the PS5, which I'm sure it is. You know, it's what they they develop on so yeah but well, you see way, in I, six I, months time what the guys <clears throat> that mod the game will do you know what i mean like it's look how look how nice you can make pez 21 look at the moment you know it's like it's mm. it's it's night and day between pez 2020 yeah, yeah. and now and, and 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 i do agree with you i mean you've even seen some videos that you know that french guy has put up durandel or whatever his name is if i'm not pronouncing it wrong right mm-hmm. um like he's Andel, yeah, Andel. yeah he showed the differences in the lighting and the stuff from even cutscenes before games and stuff so there definitely is different versions of different things going around, you know, because... Look at that trailer. Yeah, the trailer that came out on launch day. I mean, that looks... <laughs> I thought that looked really good, you know? That looked more like... That looked more like what we played. Yeah, that did look more like yeah. what we played. And you still had issues. You still had clipping. You still had the ball, you know, going into players' yeah. feet. Yeah, and... yeah. It's not, it's not perfect. No. By far, you know, I, I, I think I'd give it, like I said, a 7.5 and where I read the the build that we've got released now mm. of one so yeah it gives you an idea of how far it's dropped back yeah and it's like it's, it's the different things that are like small things but it makes a huge difference that's how i was mm-hmm. explaining it it was like yeah it's like we didn't play 
It wasn't like a different developer gave us the build at Windsor and was like, oh, this is a brand new game, like from UFL. It was like, it was still what we're playing now, but it was just like months less of polish. That's how I felt, you know, it was. I mean, even in the beta build, I don't know if any of you remember um, when we tried the online performance test, um, the actual crowd models before the game, they were all jumping in sync around the stadium. Yeah. Mm. So, yeah. Like, I mean, that's yeah. not even that's not even in this build that we're playing. And even in the Windsor build, the uh, pre-match cutscenes, um, not when they're in the locker rooms, when like they're doing like their warm-ups on the pitch, they're not even optimized to a like a 60 fps whereas mm. in the current build they are yeah so there yeah. is things that are there in one build and then they're not in the other mm. they also did say to me at, at uh, windsor that they are testing uh, various builds out each week with different things that mm. could be stronger or weaker in certain areas so maybe they're trying to get the gameplay um ironed out first and then maybe the features that we've seen in like the beta. Cause I think the, the grass in the beta is much better than mm -hmm. what we've got now. Mm -hmm. So maybe stuff like that will come into fruition later on. And you going on, uh, about Durandal, uh, Barry. Yeah. If you, if you look at his feed, you will see that he's gone into the files and he's found crowd animation files of, um, people walking. And oh. obviously there's no people walking in the version that, we've played because they're not even they're, Bro, they're, they're not even people, people. <laughs> yeah. they're zombies it's like ps1 siphon filter yeah if man. Played that, so. yeah but yeah yeah the crowd oh by the way um speaking of the tactics i remember now they actually confirmed that individual player tactics are coming in the future in a, yeah in yeah. The future. yeah and player id yeah, yeah. and all the player yeah. skills and styles and traits like that's all coming in the future that they said mm. oh, yeah it, it's it, it will probably stay a little bit simple simplified for the mobile gamers and for casuals because that's what's more marketable i personally didn't start tinkering with tactics till probably three four years ago mm. so yeah i i see the the appeal in having easy tactics to choose from but again uh you need to have individual player tactics it, it just it wouldn't i just play fifa what, what is the point of wasting my time here uh, mm -hmm. slightly better, it, better better physics at this point yeah is, is this the same guy that mentioned the photorealistic graphics just just curious uh-huh uh, well you know what that's a good point because he spent like two paragraphs talking about the realistic crowd animations like yeah. why would you even bring it up bring it up like why would you even do that exactly yeah it's, it's, it's crazy nobody man. asked him he volunteered to say that we yeah. are getting realistic photorealistic it's crowd easy, animations <laughs> what, what yeah. the hell man yeah sometimes saying less is more yeah, but it is like it's just it's such a it's such a a weird a weird time i think it's such a like a transition and that is to me having played pez like pretty much all my life growing up like i i just think that they they just need to be careful of like you know people people will wait like people will say like oh you know i'm done i'm never giving it another go they will they will try it because it's free and you know if they don't try it like, I think they're only kind of fooling themselves. Like, they should try to make up your own mind. You know what I mean? Like, I tried FIFA this year. I think FIFA's fun. You know what I mean? I think it's fun. It's very pick up and play. There is a depth to it there that if you, you know, played it for maybe more than 30 hours, that you could actually get good at the defending. You could get good at the meta and you could be able to dominate people. But there's just something off about it for me that it just doesn't feel, you know, like properly right and i just think that with e-football at the moment you know all the players running the same all the players like you know they need to nail that player id when they do actually bring it out because that is you know the pez dna as much as mm. master league is as much as Absolutely. like I, i'm still bummed about edit mode you know not being there from just like i literally spend more time editing and talking about editing than i do actually playing the game so it's like what am i going to do with all my free time it's like oh like <laughs> i'm gonna have to actually play the game now fuck you know so yeah, I mean, and, and as you said there, guys, like, it, it, there seems to be, you know, I think, Cam, you were saying it, there's so many different, like, builds or half builds or, you know, truths and half truths going around. It's like, oh, what's in this build? What's going to be in a future build? And it's like, there's been no clear direction coming out as to, like, what's going to be in, like, each build or each release or each update, you know? I mean, mm -hmm. people are saying, will they push back, you know, my club now, or will they push back stuff? to get the gameplay right like we don't know nobody knows so like it's it's, it's kind of hard you know 
I think the, yes. uh, when the game, sorry, Spoon, I think when the when the game came out, it kindly put things into perspective that this wasn't <clears throat> going to be at least finished a, a finished article mm. when we were playing it because. To me, like it still leaves a sour taste in my mouth because we had two trailers that were poor in their own right. You know, you got the Star Wars like text in one. You've got <laughs> no remember. gameplay footage before, <laughs> no gameplay footage before the release of the actual game. Then a thirty-two pound <clears throat> microtransaction pre-order bundle before yeah, again crazy. any kind of gameplay was shown. And again, I've said it before: all news earlier that was found this year about the game was scattered across the internet yeah because we couldn't find any news regarding the game uh the game sorry so again total secrecy and the reason why everyone has a right to feel anger <laughs> towards this release it is justified by how everything has been put in front of us because this isn't just a release from a new game in development company mm -hmm. with a new mm -hmm. game and vision this isn't like epic games bringing out an unknown battle royale game which has now gone on to you could say set the standard in like live events and yep. how warzone Agreed. does their thing this is a franchise no matter the name we know it by it has a history of releasing football games for the past 20 years mm. that means something to us in different ways to other people so to see something like that mean something to a lot of people become something inferior to its previous release in pez 21 despite extra time on development First impressions are always vital, mm -hmm. and this current release for eFootball isn't giving anything other than just making people try out FIFA for the first time because yep. of how exactly. self-destructive this unveiling has been. Is there a future for this game? Probably, but it's hard to see through its like limited options and stripped features and like a demo like release. Everything that we expected in terms of last year's teaser is nothing in comparison to what we've got today to me i feel like it is like a slap in the face to the community because our beloved franchise has turned into a gaming you know in 2021 where gaming standards has changed drastically if this was pez 2014 um being released now it'd get slated but obviously mm. 10 years ago the standards have changed now this isn't the e-football that the community deserves it's not what we wanted it's not what we read about and it's up to konami now to ensure that the vision of this game is rectified because right now it's absolutely crap like i, I, don't, I don't play it the silence from them is louder than ever mm. i know they do talk about things about updates coming and whatnot but it's on them to get things right because we're looking at the future of this game but also in the future of football games, there's more than one or two football games coming mm. out now. Yeah. So we've got goals, we've got UFL. And it only takes one of those new games to get the formula completely correct. And this game could be in trouble for not having it right at the start. So it is interesting in terms of the times that are ahead for Konami fixing this game and then giving us a build that we all, you know, at least deserve to play. Mm. No, oh, well said. I mean, I don't think anyone could defend like what released on September 30th. Like, like I can see I've talked to people that are actually really liking it. And, you know, that's fair enough. Like, I respect everyone and I respect everyone's opinion of what I, like at the end of the day. And I've had I've had arguments with people that I really respect. And I've said, look, you know, none of us get to choose like, you know, how to how to spend our time apart from ourselves. Like if I want to sit down there and watch Love Island instead of watching The Sopranos, like it like it's irrelevant it's irrelevant that they're both completely like you know one is a masterpiece of a tv show the other is like just you know trashy tv but you know if that's what i want to spend my time doing then that's my time that i'm spending i think with yeah, gaming it's kind of like you know for the last couple of years people would say oh no pez 21 pez 2021 was amazing you know you've all the mods you've all this you've all that the tactics you know as not you were saying there You'll have guys saying that Pez 18 was the best, Pez 17 was the best, Pez, you know, 2019 was the best. But I think for this, this is the first year since I can remember where like there's fundamental issues with the game from a technical standpoint and like a bug standpoint where it's like this goes beyond just an opinion of whether this game is worth playing or not. Do you know that kind of way? It's like yeah. the game just isn't in a good enough state at the moment. Now, as you said, Cam, like, will it get better? 
like I think it will. I think we kind of all hope it does in our in, in some way. Um, of course we, do. we 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 all love this game one way or another. So we obviously want to see how much this game can really push itself to become something that we read about. Because I do want to see photorealistic graphics. I do want to see a next gen Pez. We've all played the same Pez or the most recent Pez for two years straight. You've got 2020 and then the season update. Mm. Um, the modern community, obviously shout out to them because um, my Pez 21 experience was tenfold because of that. Like the base game of Pez without those kind of mods are pretty much bog standard, but still at the same time, you still do get that feeling of like the alternative gameplay to FIFA. Yeah. But it's like I said, it's on Konami to uh, right the wrongs, show us what this game can really do. But again, my worry is, is that there's more than the two annual football games that are coming out and UFL and goals. Maybe they won't be as successful, but like I said, because eFootball hasn't started on the right foot, it could mean that someone else could take uh, their place not in like not in terms of like a, a big franchise, but in terms yeah. of people playing the game. Yeah. Because again, twenty years ago when it was ISS and eFootball, now this game has gone up and down, up and down, various um, engine changes and uh, various styles of gameplay and like different versions. And for us to see what this has become, it is like hard to take in mm. that we've just got a simplified game that we thought was going to be something. I wouldn't say special, but from uh, the teaser that we saw with Messi last year, I think that 30-second teaser kind of set the expectations <laughs> for this yeah. game to be something like... I think that I burnt know, a lot of people. <laughs> I, oh, it did. I was... You know? Oh, my God. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it's sad to see. Yeah. To be honest, uh, speaking of UFL and goals, like I would, I would be in a much better place now if I had any confidence in these games. But UFL's creator, like the guy who is leading the project, <laughs> yeah, I know what you're going to say. Ha- I know <laughs> he <laughs> had, he had to be explained what manual controls meant on Twitter <laughs> from mm. a random guy who plays football games, and then he listened to that uh, explanation and was like, "Isn't that like cheating?" What the hell, man? I was like, I have zero faith in this game. I feel it's going to be just a slightly cheaper, uh, more accessible game than FIFA is. If you can't afford to pay for FIFA and pay for its players and its packs, that would be a cheaper, more accessible alternative. That's all UFL will be. We will not compete with the simulators of the world or with PES 20, uh, 2006 for, for, for that. Like... Goals, they're just putting a team together. We're not expecting mm-hmm. anything for the yeah, next that's a three, long four, way off. five, six years. Yeah. yeah. Um, so that's why I'm so concerned that am I going to be stuck playing PES 2021 for the rest of my life now? <laughs> uh, till I have kids and have no longer time to play games? Like, <laughs> what is that my reality now? So that's why I'm concerned. Don't be sad. Uh, I'll still play PES 6. <laughs> yeah, you can always I play the old games. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> We always have the old games to play, I think, you know. But there is there is something about a new game coming out. I mean, it's yeah, we can still go back and play six, play Pez Six and that. But I think we would all like to have like a proper, you know, next gen Pez. With, oh, like, definitely. You know, it would just be amazing if they could could have blown the doors off this year. And I think they're lucky that it's happened now when you know they do have the time, like they do they do actually have the time there to get this right. You know whether they will or not is is up to them, but I do think that they have the time, and I think that people will wait and check it out again. Um, but it does remain to be seen. I mean, it's just hard because like you could talk to t- ten different people and everyone has a different opinion on it. You know what Pez should be, but like you know, there's just something about Pez for everyone that you find that it's like, yeah, that's why I play Pez, and it's a different reason for most people. You know, like mm. that's that's how I feel about it. It's like for me. It's always just been about like, you know, you just get that Pez feeling of when it clicks. Like I was playing co-op the other night and I think it was like, yeah, like play in Pez 2021, I went back playing it and it was 3v3 and I was playing with like my brother and like my friend and like they'd, we'd all have different skill levels, you know, they, like he, he, like my friend would literally play it like once every like two months when he'd call over. um, So he wouldn't be very good, you know, so like you have to kind of hold his hand a lot, but like 
he he gets some enjoyment out of it because he you know when it clicks when you do like we scored a pa- like a move where we passed you know we pa- we had about like 15 to 20 passes like we all felt involved we were all moving off the ball like it just felt brilliant you know and i know the that guys that awesome. yeah it was brilliant man and it sounds like and he was delighted like he celebrated like he he was after scoring the winner in the champions league because he's like oh that was you know <laughs> that was amazing like and that like that to me is what pez is about is that like finding yeah. what you enjoy whether it's modern whether it's editing whether it's whatever um and you know and for fifa fifa is more about like you know you kind of pick it up when you know you know that you're just what you're what you're going to get you know i mean i've made the comparison before of you know pez used to be back in the day going out for like a steak dinner and like fifa was like getting a mcdonald's on the way home when you're when you're hungry like mcdonald's i love mcdonald's i love steak so it's like it just depends what you want in the moment you know you can play both fifa and pez it's not you don't need to be you don't need to apologize for playing both you know but you do gravitate towards one or the other um you know, and, 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 and yeah, it is, it is, I, I think we're all probably hurting a little bit. I mean, we all, as you say, Cam, we all do have a soft spot for Pez somewhere over the last couple of years. And even if it's complaining about the game, it's coming from a, you know, you're still taking the time to. Yeah, it's coming from a, like a, a constructive point of view, not like a damaging one to be mm. like, they should be doing this, that and the other. Obviously we, like I've said before, we all have a. Uh, you know, affection towards this franchise one way or another. And obviously with the feedback that we all provide to try and make it better, mm. then it's, like I said, it's just constructive and, you know, nothing uh, to at least damage like the game. Yeah. I think when you think about the marketing, um, you know, you think about past Pez series. Um, whenever you, whenever Adam came out, he used to do a lot of promotion. It was yeah. gameplay, gameplay, gameplay. You know, whoever whoever was doing it, it was always talking about the gameplay. This is the first year where they've actually gone, nah, not gameplay, for realism, which they haven't even got. But, um, you know, they're <laughs> focusing on the graphics, aren't they? Yeah. Rather yeah, than right. the gameplay. It's the first year that they've actually not talked about the gameplay. And it's almost like they've gone into a shell and no one's come out and given any information because there's no gameplay. And, and this is what we're left with. It's just a shell of a game. Mm. It's, it's a long way, in my opinion. Um it doesn't look like they're going to release the the Windsor build anytime soon. And I was actually looking exciting. back at, um, sorry to interrupt. I was actually looking yes, back at um, Hong Kong footage because I believe that that was the same build we played at Windsor because it had the sharp kicks in. Mm. And uh, I was actually trying to find a video in it. Um, I was actually trying to find the, the stream, but it actually got taken down. Um, mm. As they were talking in front of the, the main menu of the game, the build numbers on there, but the video is taken down, so I can't find it. So yeah, uh, um, it would have been nice to have seen what kind of build it was, but at the same time, the build that we played technically wasn't a public build, so it could have been not 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 dot one. Yeah, so mm. could have been anything really. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's it is hard. It's very hard position, I think, for for everyone to be in because you know we're not we're going to have to wait now till what the twenty eighth of October is the next update. And you're going to have people crawling through that again. I don't think it's going to fix every issue that's there. So, <laughs> no, you know, I don't, I don't think. there's a lot, there's a lot, there's a lot to be fixed there. You know, it's it more just... than just bugs. It's more than just bugs. This might crush the bugs, but it's, there's no depth to the gameplay at the minute. Mm. It's boring. It's boring. Yeah. In, in my opinion, you just get through, you get, get into the penalty box, you press shoot. You don't even think about where the goalkeeper is. You don't even think about, you know, should I do a finesse shot here? Should I do a power shot? Just, you know, <laughs> yeah. There's no, there's no real thought process to it, in my opinion. Mm. Yeah, exactly. The, the, the lack of depth. That, that's the biggest issue. The lack of because you we play PES because of its depth, mm. and if yeah. that's gone, like, what reason is there to play this game? Yeah, there are advantages. To be honest, like, let me let me just point out two gameplay uh, improvements compared to PES 2021. For instance. Sometimes a player switching when you'd um, play switching is horrible. Of course, I'm not talking about this player switching. I'm <laughs> talking about when you do when you make a pass and um, the player stops for a second and then resumes movement and that yep. makes the pass uh, completely um, useless. That's gone. That's I no longer see that in, in eFootball. Never. It happens all the time in in, in PES 2021. I uh, think I know the reason behind that. I think it's something to do with the inspire trait. I was trying to I was trying to do some analysis on that. I think the inspire trait actually messes that up where if your player hasn't got the inspire trait it goes oh 
no, that player can't make that run. Therefore, that he's got to do that sort of stop-start animation. I think mm-hmm. that's the reason behind it. But yeah, Karen, I'm sorry. No, no, absolutely. No, no. So, so maybe, maybe that is because it was introduced in 2020, and that's when the problem started happening. So, uh, mm. could be that. And and because they got rid of the inspire trait, which was incredible, um, despite <laughs> being buggy, obviously. Uh, so yeah, that's gone. So they fixed a, pr- a problem, fixed between quotations, <laughs> uh, uh, but fixed the problem by 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 completely removing it. <laughs> so, um, the the second thing that I noticed immediately in eFootball is the simple running animations. Of course, there's no player ID, so they all run the same, but they run in a very elegant way. So you might say that uh, to fix running, they uh, made one single running animation that looks really good by instead of removing the thousands of running animations that were kind of robotic. So it's again mm-hmm. the two positive things that I have to point out are actually two simplifications. So mm. There yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. you're right. Yeah, no, they are simplifying a lot of the stuff. I just think, I just think, along with the simplifications of everything, there was that depth in the Windsor Bill. I know I'm going back to it, but there was, even though things were simplified and the gameplay and the direction that they're going is is a small bit more simplified as of what we currently have. I thought that there was that depth there that you know you did have the option yeah. to dip, you know, to do a dip and shot. Like I hit, an, I scored an absolute bullet with Pogba in the Windsor build, like an absolute rocket, like Adriano esque, yeah, Pez six yeah. style, like absolutely like tore the net apart. And like I got up off my chair, I was like, "Oh, will you let me record that, please?" And they're like, "No, nah, we can't." And I was like, "Oh, <laughs> fuck that." But like that, and, and like it just felt like to me that there was a lot of variety there. That it was like, right, if I get in this certain position. Like, I'm going to score from here. Um, which I don't even think that that's in PES 2021 to this, to the degree that I saw it that day with the shot. But then again, I mean, I'm talking about one one goal compared to hundreds of hours of PES 2021, so I'm probably exaggerating. But, um, yeah, I do think that, the, you know, they are simplifying it because I think if you look at all the successful games now, where they're going, like where the market is going compared to when PES was at the top in terms of, like, yeah, Pez is making money. Like Pez twenty twenty and Pez twenty twenty one made more money than any other game combined in the franchise. So you know you can see that that's you know my club has been a massive success and fair play. You know they've they've adapted to it well with my club and with the players and the the agents and clients. But I just feel personally that like you know there has to be you know if you look at the market like Fortnite and Warzone and and stuff like that like. They're very simple mechanics that you can learn in four to five hours. But the mastery comes in, you know, either putting massive amount of time in to get really, really, really good at something that everyone can do. So if you play COD and I play a lot of Call of Duty, like everyone has the option to 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 sprint, to turn, to shoot, to snipe, whatever. But it's the hundreds of hours that you see the streamer guys that are, you know, professional players they're, they don't have any other advantage other than the hours they're putting in and, you know, the muscle memory kicking in of, like, they just know their awareness. And it's the same, I think, with, you know, with Fortnite. It's very pick up and play, but the skill gap is there. You know, compared to, say, something like, you know, I don't know, like Dark Souls or something. I don't think we're ever going to see a sports game like that simulation, you know, because even NBA 2K22, I love the game. I'm playing loads of it, like, at the moment. I'm absolutely addicted to it. But it has serious flaws in it as well that you can exploit if you really want to. And when you take that online, you just have guys doing that like nonstop. It's a completely different different experience than playing offline. So I do think Konami are looking at that and thinking, right, we need to make this game very pick up and play, very approachable. But they also need to hit that like it needs to have a skill gap in it and it, you need to be able to separate, you know, the men from the boys, so to speak, like you could back with Pez 5 and Pez 6, where it was like, yeah, this is simple to play. I can only turn in six directions because they didn't have the analog stick. But it was like, why am I getting smashed 6 nil by this guy that, you know, hasn't left his room in 16 days? Like, it's like, well, because he's playing it so much and you're not. Like, there was the skill gap there that you could absolutely dominate players in the older yeah. Pez games, you know? Um, Yeah. Sorry, it's a bit of a tangent there, but that's the way I see it is I think they're trying to find that balance of like, right, let's get the game in as many people's hands as possible. And then, you know, now they need to be like, right, okay, if we have that as a platform and our infrastructure is built around that, now we need to be able to separate the skill there. Like what makes it fun? Because nobody wants to go on and win 10-0 every game. You'd say like, this is shit. You know what I mean? It's too easy. 
you need a challenge. Like even against the AI when you're playing a Master League, no one wants to play a Master League in PES 2021 and, you know, have 100 points at the end of the, the table and never go go the distance with a, with a rival in second or third place. I mean, that's where the original thing came in back with PES, you know, five and six, where you'd win a game, the team below you would win a game. Or if you were in the front, like, they'd slip mm-hmm. up on the last day of the season. You know, like, it was it was always that drama there that was there. Um, yeah, so that's what I think. I think they're just trying to crack that balance and they've just struggled with it, I think. Um, but you also need to, like, score because you did the right choices. Yeah. You chose the right time to, to kick the ball. You chose the right stage of its bounce to kick it. You're not scoring just because the game allowed you to score. Because when you don't score, that's going to make you feel frustrated. Oh, I did everything right, and the game didn't let me score. Mm. So that's where the depth comes in, uh, in into the fun factor. Mm. Yeah, I mean, somebody, I think it was... I think it was um, Asim, you know, I've spoke to Asim quite a bit about it, and I play Warzone with him a good bit and I've gotten you know I've gotten very friendly with him and we talk a lot about Pez and stuff and he said that there is a big difference in game development obviously he's with 2k at the moment between fun and you know enjoying something like as in enjoyable and fun like fun is you know Mario Party where everything is random and you know or Mario Kart where you can get hit with a blue shell on the last corner and break your controller you know as I've often done (laughs) but like then you have you know you have the enjoy the enjoyment factor where it's like yeah, like I, you know, I did that. I pulled that defender out of position, and then I, you know, I, I just put enough power on the on the shot to score at just at that angle. I saw the keeper coming out. I chipped him just at the right time. Like I think, yeah, Knight, you are right. There needs to be a difference between fun and reward, I suppose, or reward while having fun. I suppose I don't know, but uh, and and that's what that's what they're gonna hopefully spend the next of the the, re- the remainder of the year doing because. Re- Currently, at the moment, I'm not seeing any uh, reward in, in mm. my decisions. Even though I'm playing with full manual controls, uh, eFootball, the, the intricacy of everything is just not there. And you take that's a lot of sophisticated coding that you need to develop over several years. Uh, PES 2021 didn't reach where it was uh, overnight. And uh, if they're doing everything from scratch, which is what it looks like it is, uh, it's going to take some time. But I hope that they... Uh, don't change their direction into 100% fun mobile game Mm. because that would be suicide because that's not where they that's not how they built their success upon it was all about depth that was why we played PES and not FIFA that's why I put in insane hours modding my game and bringing in these licenses and this horrible grass fixing it when I could have just (laughs) played FIFA I could have played FIFA which has amazing grass amazing Mm. lighting it looks photorealistic all the scoreboards are there it's amazing but there's just no reward to anything even on full manual controls Mm. you don't have to choose the correct time to to shoot to pass there's no intricate off ball play movement currently at the moment that's where eFootball is and that's Mm. what's concerning me that's a good point. Very good point. Uh, yeah, I mean, boys, we've been talking for an hour and 20 minutes, so I think we're going to have to end it there because we could literally be talking, and we say this every podcast, but we could be talking for another two hours. So um, it's midnight in the UK. Like, I have all the time in the world. Do you guys? Yeah, it's to like sleep? 10 to 12, a quarter to 12 here. Um, yeah. But yeah, I want to apologize to the T live on the podcast. It was We were supposed to record this a bit earlier, but I, I had something I had to do, so um apologies lads for that again but um yeah i've enjoyed the chat i mean hopefully there are better days ahead hopefully we can get you back on the podcast again we're all still friends at the end of it i hope um (laughs) firm handshakes yeah but no it is like i think i just think it's 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 going to be a difficult couple of months i think we kind of all knew it was with the lack of information coming out the trailers like i think we all kind of have been around the block enough to know that things weren't rosy, that it was going to, you know, it was going to just launch on the September 30th and just smash it. I don't think I foresaw it being what was on September 30th. Uh, I don't think any of us did, but... uh, To be honest, let me say one last thing. I pre-wrote a review just so I can get one in time, 
and it had a completely different tone. It was like, this game is bare bones, but it's worth it because the gameplay is worth it. And it's <laughs> worth learning the, the defending. <laughs> and you guys, everybody needs to switch to eFootball because um, you need to get used to this new defending and this new ball trapping. So don't waste your time playing PES 2021 because <laughs> you'll be held back when, when the full game comes out. And I wrote this. I, pre pre I was, like, was going to like fix it and modify it when, when I play the game. But then... I was like, what the hell is that? Like, it has absolutely no no <laughs> relationship to the actual game that I'm playing. So I wanted to love it. I'm not not like some of these guys that were wanting to hate it. I wanted to love this game. I was going to push everybody to play it. And that's where my shock came. Like, mm. <laughs> it is what it is, boys. But yeah, look, we're going to end yep. it there. Um, it's been a great chat, just about an hour, and a, an hour and a half. So anyone that stayed listening, appreciate you checking it out. We are, this is an audio only uh podcast i think we've no webcams on um so yeah hope you enjoyed listening to it on soundcloud i'll stick it up on youtube as well obviously um with Sorry. just like a bit of, yeah just a maybe just a picture of me just a, pro, a portrait of me um but yeah and weza obviously is taking a little sabbatical as well so enjoy your break off ways i know you'll be listening to this and finding holes in our uh in our podcasting skills and giving me some critical analysis but yeah, boys, I'll let you say your good looks and uh, we will end it there. And you don't don't forget to check out the boys as well on YouTube and on Twitter. If you want to hurl abuse at them, feel free. Um, if you want to yes. compliment their videos and their 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 skills, feel free also. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it from me. Uh, boys, thanks again for coming on. Sorry it was so late as well. Um, yeah, let's do it again sometime. Thank you. 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 Thank you.